Wyatt Sue, and this is our new fan to try to control some of the temperature variance we're having in here. Well, even though it's snowing out, when the sun's out, the greenhouse gets up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. It's amazing. Right now, it's probably 60 degrees inside the greenhouse, even though it's only 30 degrees outside. Today I'm going to work on a ventilation system for the greenhouse. To monitor the greenhouse, I put together a little quick prototype where it uses the uh, particle photon board, which is a Wi-Fi board. And then I'm using the Bosch uh, 2800, which is a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor. And then I'm using the Vellum 7700, which is a lux meter. And then I just created a quick uh, Blake app so I can check stuff on my phone and log the, the data. My plan is to put an input vent down over the door in this end of the greenhouse and put a ventilation fan blowing out at the other end of the greenhouse. I purchased this louvered fan to put inside the greenhouse, but it's a lot heavier than I originally expected. And I was gonna install it up in the top of this part of the end of the greenhouse, but I'm gonna have to build up a two x four frame to hold the weight. I wanna lean the two x four against the wall, but this L brace is in the way, so I'm gonna have to notch out a little bit on the two x four. assembled the wood frame. I've got to attach it to the bottom here. And then I traced the opening on the plexiglass, which I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to drill some holes through the aluminum here so I can bring screws from the outside into the wood. I've got the fan positioned into the frame and I'm just going to put the lag bolts in. Well, here comes the scary part. I gotta use the vibrating saw to cut this. Hoping I don't ruin it. We have a hole and now it's starting to snow so I better get the fan installed. Well, it's starting to snow but I'm going to try to put some clear caulk around the outside edge of this. We'll see how it goes. Fans mounted, I've got it screwed in and caulked on the outside, and now I just have to mount the control unit here. I've mounted the controller on the panel here. Let's see, it's 49 degrees out, and I've got a program to go on if, the, if it hits 80 degrees. I've been looking for a vent that lets air into the greenhouse but unfortunately, all the vents that you see at the store are for dryer ducts that are output vents. So I decided to 3D print my own. So here's a screen I made for the outside, then the three blades and the part that holds them. Here's the 3D vent that I printed at where the air blows into the house instead of out of the house. 
I made it for the uh, plastic uh, greenhouses. So there's a screen on, that goes on the outside and then you bolt it through the, the, the plastic to the inside. This is the first vent. We can add up to six, it looks like, in this top window, if we need them. I've got one vent installed and the fan's off right now. I'll go turn the fan on and see how it works. Got the fan turned on. You can see the fan louvers have opened up as the fan's turned on. You can see the louver doors have opened up in the vent. So this is the new vent and fresh air is coming through here and it'll go out the back to try to keep the temperature from rising as high as it's been. So a nice added benefit to the greenhouse is that on a crisp winter day, it can be 120 here. So it's such a nice place to bring a cup of coffee and a book. This is Sue, she's the love of my life. She makes me smile. I'll put the 3D print files for the vent over on Thingiverse. Well, if you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.